SCP-090 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Artifact is to be held in a secure bunker in the facility at site and constantly monitored by approved Class D personnel. The object's new arrangement is to be imaged every time it shifts. New arrangements are fed into the facility's Class OT supercomputer. Division Chief is to be notified of all changes and current estimates every half hour. No personnel is to touch SCP-090 except under order... <coughs> Description SCP-090 was located and retrieved in... <coughs> on April 10th, 19... <coughs> Prior to retrieval, SCP-090 had been located in a chamber at the nearby cathedral. SCP-090 was removed, the cathedral burned, six monks and the priest were terminated. SCP-090 has been located at site <coughs> since the retrieval. Object's initial location prior to the cathedral is unrecorded. SCP-090 is a black cubic structure made of an unknown ceramic material. Object is classified as indestructible following tests outlined in Document 090-B. Each side is divided into 10,000 individual squares in arrangements similar to a Rubik's Cube, with 100 segments per edge, each segment 2 millimeters wide. Each square has part of a design etched into the surface. Unknown internal structure causes the realignment of a single row or column every 2.8 seconds. Vague records of the object's alignments have been kept since 1242 CE, but those kept before 1533 CE have been lost. Modern technology has allowed the exact alignments to be imaged and recorded as well as studied. Segments are divided by a thin white line unless they are aligned correctly with the square directly adjacent to them. There are 22 correct alignments on the object's surface currently. See 25.090.090.04D for complete current object alignment. D023016-024016 024015 is currently the only alignment of three adjacent segments on the surface of SCP-090. B100023-10001 dash zero nine nine zero two four dash zero nine eight zero two four and c dash zero four three zero seven seven dash zero four two zero seven seven dash zero four two zero seven six dash zero four two zero seven five are the four segment alignments there is also a six segment alignment see document zero nine zero b for research notes involving alignment effects. Full item completion has been hypothesized to cause an unparalleled disaster to occur. Document 090A Dr. <coughs> Experiment Notes Experiment 0012 Observation is going well. We have managed to develop a system to record and analyze the shifts in the cube almost as quickly as they occur. No correlation between shifts and any world events found yet. Experiment 0048 We observed a six-segment alignment today on the first side. It was noted and passed without incident. Two hours later, a research assistant returned from the break room with news that a tsunami had occurred in the Indian Ocean and caused hundreds of thousands of deaths and extensive property damage. No correlation is currently known. Experiment 0150 After our 120th alignment on the fourth side of the cube and 120th accident report in the lab, we are designating the fourth side as local and will implement safety measures tomorrow. Staff are discouraged from making bets regarding the outcome of alignments. Experiment 0172 A six-segment alignment was recorded this morning on the local side. As a safety precaution, site was evacuated. Two hours later, a containment breach occurred, but resulted in no loss of life due to the evacuation. 
object determined to predict events, not cause them. First side designated as global. Upgrade to Euclid status requested. Experiment 0240. We stepped up our experiments today by attempting to modify the cube itself. When D-Class personnel <laughs> attempted to make a shift, SCP-090 immediately created a 10-segment alignment of its own accord near the top left corner of the local side. Exactly two hours later, SCP <laughs> broke containment and data expunged. Agents <laughs> and were also lost during the incident. Recommend forced shift testing of SCP-090 postponed. Upgrade to Keter status approved as SCP-090 is obviously capable of causing events of its own accord. Object may be sentient.